to turn to accused child molester Jerry Sandusky. He and his wife are thinking about speaking publicly together about this whole case against him sometime after the new year. According to Sandusky's lawyer, the couple is actually thinking about a number of options for this interview, including Oprah Winfrey, Barbara Walters, going on 60 Minutes, as well as NBC's new show, Rock Center. The former Penn State football coach has already given interviews to NBC as well as to the New York Times to discuss this and to try to figure it out and what it means to Sandusky's case. I want to bring in Anthony Falangetti, former prosecutor, defense attorney now with Falangetti and Wentworth. And when, when you read this type of thing, every lawyer in the country already decried the fact that Sandusky spoke to begin with. What is happening between he and his defense attorney that he is now considering going on national television? If I'm his lawyer and he doesn't listen to me and goes to national television, in large part, that's my fault. I don't have the client control to manage my client to do the right thing. In this case, it's going to be another blunder. It seems that his lawyer keeps walking him into these blunders and is participating in it. And let's be let's be clear. The last time he was on, he was on television with Bob Costas. Total failure. I think 89% of the public believed after that he was guilty. Is, is it not possible, though, Anthony, that he is so hated that the public and the media have already tried and convicted him that his attorney is saying, hey, I got a nice guy here. I got a guy who really could, could show the public the other side of the story. He's got nothing to gain here. Most, of, as you put it, most of us believe he's done it. So he's got nothing to gain. Talking to the public, who's he going to convince? What reputation is he going to save? It's gone. There's only 12 people in his life that are going to matter when it comes down to what they think of him. And that's the 12 jurors on his case. Without a doubt. That's it. Those are the only 12 he has to convince of anything. I, I've heard a lot of lawyers say they'd walk at this point. They'd say, Your Honor, I can't control the client. Get somebody else. And in it fact, there's no obligation at this early stage for his lawyer to stay on. They can reach an agreement that his lawyer leave he can hire another lawyer. Hire. Yeah, there's another issue altogether. I want to I ask you about something else, and I want to tell you about this. Here's another case, and at first glance it appears to be, what a case of chutzpah, tragic as it may be. A woman who at the time was only 20 years old went to this bar, Jock's Sports Grill. It's in Bluffton, South Carolina. Even though she was underage, no one asked for her ID. She drank. She drank a lot. And then she drank some more. And then when she was driving home, she lost control. She crashed her car and was left a paraplegic. And now this woman, her name is Chelsea Hess. Hess. She is suing the bar. She is suing the state. She's suing the county and the town. She's suing the bar for not carting her. And she's suing the government for not maintaining the road shoulder on which she lost control. Would you ever take this case? Not myself, and I don't think it's proper. And I know you're a criminal attorney, no, sure. but I mean, but still, on a civil action. In my opinion, this is a completely baseless lawsuit, but there is some precedent for holding bars or bartenders accountable due to their own negligence and allowing somebody to drink beyond the point that would be reasonable. But all of us, all of us would look at this case. I think it's sensible to look at this case and say, where is her own personal accountability. She, although under 21, still an adult, still chose to drink, and still made the decision to get behind the wheel. And, and don't you think really, I mean, you could pick maybe a more liberal state, you could pick parts of California, maybe parts of the Northeast. She's doing this in South Carolina. Not exactly the liberal bastion of the country where you're going to get a jury who's going to side with her. Well, Am I wrong about that? Well, maybe not the, the quote-unquote liberal bastion where these types of lawsuits seem to flourish. But it really, what is she doing? She's trying to blame everybody else for her oh, yeah. own conduct. And it's tragic that she's paralyzed, but let's be clear. Her conduct put her behind the wheel. Her conduct led her to drive. Throughout California, when okay. somebody drives under the influence and kills another person, we hold them responsible. We don't hold the bar. Exactly. All right. Anthony Falangetti, thanks for the legal you opinion, bet. and thanks for coming in. Uh, Happy New Year to you. And you too.